Hello, good evening everyone. It is my 336th daily reading. And I'm once again reading out of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. And it's all small stuff. Simple ways to keep the little things from taking over your life. By Richard Carlson, PhD. And we are on number 80. Become an early riser. I have seen this simple practical strategy help many people discover a more peaceful, even a more meaningful life. So many people wake up, rushed to get ready, grab a cup of coffee, and charge out the door to work. After working all day, they return home tired. The same is usually true for men and women who stay home with their children. They get up just in time to start doing things for the kids. This is virtually no time for anything else. Whether you work, raise a family, or both, for the most part you are too tired to enjoy any time left for you. As a solution to the tiredness, the assumption is often made, I'd better get as much sleep as I can. So your free time is spent sleeping. For many, for many people, this creates a deep longing in the heart. Surely, there must be more to life than work, children, and sleep. Another way of looking at your fatigue is to consider that a lack of fulfillment and a sense of being overwhelmed both contribute to your tiredness. And contrary to popular logic, a little less sleep and a little more time for you might be just what you need to combat your sense of fatigue. An hour or two that is reserved just for you before your day begins is an incredible way to improve your life. I usually get up between 3 and 4 in the morning after a quiet cup of coffee. I usually spend some time doing yoga and a few minutes of meditation. After that, I will usually go upstairs and write for a while, but I also have time to read a chapter or two in whatever book I'm enjoying. Sometimes I'll just sit for a few minutes and do nothing. Virtually every day, I stop whatever I'm doing to enjoy the sunrise as it comes up over the mountains. The phone never rings. No one is asking me to do anything for them. There's nothing I absolutely have to do. It's by far the most quiet time of the day. By the time my wife and children wake up, I feel as though I've had a full day of enjoyment. No matter how busy I am that day or whatever demands there are on my time, I know I've had my time. I never feel ripped off, as so many people unfortunately do as if my life isn't my own. So believe this, I'm sorry, I believe this makes me more available for my wife and children, as well as my clients at work and other people who depend on me. Many people have told me that this one shift in their routine was the single most important change they have ever made in their lives. For the first time ever, they are able to participate in those quiet activities they never found the time to do. All of a sudden, the books are getting read, the meditation gets done, the sunrise is appreciated. The fulfillment you experience more than makes up for any sleep you miss out on. If you must turn off the television at night, and get to sleep an hour or two earlier. Let me reread that. If you must, turn off the television at night and get to sleep an hour or two earlier. So, now I gotta go back to that and put in my bookmark for tomorrow. But I get up, I make sure not to schedule anything 
so early that I can't have at least two hours every day when I wake up to myself. I need two hours before I will do anything with or for anyone so that I have my me time instead of rushing into the day because for any of you who have followed me for any amount of time you've heard me preach on this before if you start your day rushing about your entire day feels rushed and hurried and sometimes even anxious so you start your day peacefully flowing in to the day and the rest of your day usually turns out to be peacefully flowing anyways i'm sending out love light and healing energy as they pay it forward and pass it on until next time peace later